Tesla is laying off a bunch of its Shanghai Gigafactory workers, weeks after Elon Musk visited and praised their hard work. Tesla's Gigafactory Shanghai, also known as Gigafactory 3, is Tesla's vehicle manufacturing facility located in Shanghai, China. The factory's construction commenced in December 2018 and production began in 2019, marking a significant achievement given the relatively short development period. The Gigafactory Shanghai is a critical part of Tesla's strategy to increase its global production and sales. It's the first wholly foreign-owned car plant in China, reflecting a shift in the country's policies to allow full foreign ownership of car manufacturers. The factory is situated in the Lingang area, which is near Shanghai's free trade zone. The total site spans an area of 210 acres, 86 hectares. As of my knowledge cutoff in September 2021, it includes facilities for vehicle assembly, battery pack and module production, and energy storage pack assembly. The Gigafactory Shanghai was initially developed to produce Tesla's Model 3 and later the Model Y. It plays a vital role in supplying these models to the Chinese market, the largest auto market globally, and exporting them to other regions like Europe. The factory's production capacity was rapidly scaled up since its inception. In 2020, it achieved an annual production rate of around 500,000 vehicles, reflecting its significant role in boosting Tesla's total production. Tesla's Gigafactory 3 is also noteworthy for its environmentally friendly design, consistent with Tesla's commitment to sustainability. The facility incorporates renewable energy sources and aims for minimal environmental impact in its operations. Furthermore, the factory has created numerous job opportunities in the area and helped spur the development of a local supply chain, contributing to Shanghai and China's broader economic development. Tesla has future expansion plans for the Gigafactory Shanghai, potentially adding new production lines for other Tesla models or components. However, the exact details may vary based on the company's strategy and market conditions. Tesla's Shanghai Gigafactory previously provided its employees with stock call options, allowing them to participate in the company's financial success. Workers would often spend their breaks tracking the fluctuations in Tesla's stock price, an activity that ceased after the 2020 COVID-19 shutdown ended the issuance of stock options. The Shanghai Gigafactory also used to employ the SAP R-3 production module, but CEO Elon Musk deemed it too expensive. He tasked his software engineers with creating a new, more cost-effective production system. However, the new system may lack some of the capabilities of the SAP R-3, including the ability to trace certain component defects. Despite praising his staff at the Shanghai Gigafactory during a visit in late May, Elon Musk has overseen layoffs at the facility just five weeks later. Musk's visit, part of a two-day trip to China that included meeting high-ranking government officials and a grand 16-course meal, concluded with a heartfelt speech to his employees, praising their perseverance amidst numerous challenges. His departure was marked by buying burgers and soft drinks for 100 factory workers. Yet, just over a month post Musk's visit, some of these employees have been let go, as reported by Bloomberg, citing anonymous sources. The exact number of layoffs is unknown, but some employees were reportedly offered the option to move to another part of the factory. Tesla was contacted for a comment but did not respond immediately. Battery production staff, making up fewer than 1,000 of the factory's 20,000 employees, received layoff notices earlier this week. The motivation behind these layoffs remains uncertain. Data from the China Passenger Car Association, as reported by CNN, indicates that Tesla's Shanghai factory doubled its deliveries in the second quarter of 2023, contributing to over half of Tesla's global sales. The Shanghai factory was in the news six weeks before Musk's visit when employees complained on social media about unjust cuts to their performance bonuses. Some Tesla employees criticized Musk on Chinese social media platforms and a few even lodged complaints to his mother via Twitter. In the previous year, Musk had commended Tesla's Chinese staff for their dedication, noting that some had worked until 3 a.m. and even slept on the factory floor to maintain production during China's stringent COVID-19 lockdowns.